tonight so you can sing. Can, can you do anything else? Oh, sure, I can dance. You can dance. When do we have to leave? Tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp. Any chance of postponing that? You see, we haven't been able to get the kids we usually get. There's a real trouble about 10 that. 10 o'clock sharp. 10 o'clock sharp. We have to leave at 10 tomorrow. That's really early. Oh? Do you think you can possibly make it? Sure, Mr. Stinson. I'm a trooper. My career comes before anything. All right, you got the job. Gosh, really? Yeah, really. Well, on that note, I'd like a drink. <gasps> it's my gun! What has? My career! Soldiers abroad appreciate the great stars of stage and screen who gallantly sacrifice time, comfort, and safety to cross dangerous waters and play for them within sound of the big guns and the crump of falling bombs. But the show people they really love and take to their hearts are the little unheralded, unsung, hardworking, wandering groups like Camp Show's unit number X117. <laughs> What can I tell you? <laughs> Have we got a show today? Have we got a show today? Hey, we got a show today? <laughs> you, did. you like girls? Yeah! I love to chase young girls. Because at my age, when I do chase girls, it's got to be downhill. <laughs> like the soldier said about the wax sentry, I sure like to catch her off guard. <laughs> Keep my scarf, Maureen. This cold's bad for my voice. Keep it in shape. I asked what with a throat like yours, you can't be too careful. My ticket. Miss Berta Bay!
Stop shaking, go on. You are probably getting left on. Stop. I sure wish I was back in the Catskills again. I hated it when I was there. Why? The same as here. Hurry up. Six shows. Hurry up to six shows and more. Because there, you can sleep late, eat all you want. As a matter of fact, one summer, I gained 40 pounds. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm up there, they're yelling and screaming at me, applauding. I'm thinking, this is what it means to have gift. To give somebody something. That's what it means to have gift. Inside. Are you alright? Sure, ready. Thanks. Keep up the towel. <laughs> well, I think you keep yourself up. And then where will you be? Troopers don't get sick. Yeah, I wish I knew one.
never know just how much I care And if I tried, I still couldn't hide my love for you You ought to know, for haven't I told you so a million no more times Don't you ever give up, Vernon? Gotta practice. Gotta keep sharp. Don't you ever think that dancing, well, how they say it in French, maybe isn't your forte? Well, of course I'm mostly a singer of personality. It's like the first guy that auditioned me said, Mary, you're unique. Mary? Yeah, that's my handle. Mary Verna or Verna Mary something? Oh, no. I made Verna up. Mary's my real name, Mary Vojic. But when I went on stage, decided to be an artist, I tried different ones. I tried... Lana, Delilah, Theta. I tried all those, and I hit on Vernon, and it stuck. But the guy that auditioned me, he told me I was unique. Then he put his hand on my leg, and I took his hand off the leg. But unique stuck. Then I went home, looked up in my ass crossword bus dictionary just to be sure I had it right. Sure enough, there it was. Unique. Unlike anybody else. I thought, yep, that's me. Hit the road, had a career ever since. What kind of career? Oh. Well, I hadn't had a big break yet, but artists always struggle. It'll happen for me. I know. You know, huh? Yeah, you see, I got the sixth sense. When you're a star, you know. It's that simple. I know. You'll never know if you don't. comes on, doesn't she? I tell you, if I had her energy, I'd go out with girls again. For God's sake, Vernon, are you still tapping? Practice makes perfect. Yeah, in most cases. Gotta keep it up. Awesome. Oh, well, did you hear my song? Oh, yeah, it was wonderful. That's long years of hard work. Look where it got me. You got a career. <laughs> career? What career? Most money I made last year was serving drinks in a bar. Oh, yeah, they let me sing on the side, Fridays, some Saturdays. I never packed them in, though. Biggest crowd turned out for a magician. His tricks were so lousy you could tell them all in advance. So I said to the bartender, what am I going to do? Here I am, a decent B-plus singer. OK. OK. I ain't A minus. I ain't A. But I'm a B-plus singer playing Second fiddle to a lousy magician with a gimpy leg. Well, he was short. No offense to you. Listen to him out there, Maureen. They love you. Yeah? How much they pay to get out? <gasps> Maureen, you're still young. What's young, kid? Some people are never young. I always had lines and shadows. I just got more obvious with age. Ah, oh, I bet in a year you'll be the toast of the town. Yeah, and then what? The toast to Hollywood. And then what? And then what? That's everything. Honey, nothing's everything. Don't you know that yet? You had a success? You had a star? So what does that mean? You make a lot of money for a few years, then what? What happens when your voice goes? And you can't move those legs so fast? When everything goes, what do you do then? What happens those nights you don't get a show? For years you don't get a hit. What happens when you want somebody right there beside you? All you see is your tap shoes and arrangements. I take a good old man. That's what I take. Like one of those GIs. Good earner. Don't drink. Only fools around a little bit. That's what I take. 
I could never give up my career, Maureen. Never deny my talent. No matter how lonely or poor or sad I got. That's just a gift you don't say no to. You'll never know how many dreams I dreamed about you. Or just how empty they all feel without you. So kiss me once, and kiss me twice, and kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. You look tired, Kay. You ought to ask the medic for some sleeping pills. I don't need sleeping pills. Well, it's none of my business, I guess. You don't seem to get much sleep either. Look, kid, I can take care of myself. This is the one thing my life has taught me. I can take care of myself. I'm not so sure about you, though. Why? Because you're just about soiled your little laces every time there's a shell of machine gun. We're in a war, honey. Get used to it or go back home. I'll get used to it. What's that mean? Mine's cleared to the side. You ever think about going home? No. I need this experience. For what? For when I'm a star. It's called paying your dues. That's what all this is. And learning how to perform under all kind of bad conditions, that's important. And learning how to save your voice through four shows a day and Learn how to give energy when you're about to drop. It's like an acting school. Yeah, why don't you go to a real one? I couldn't get in. They didn't recognize my talent. I auditioned in New York four different times. I danced, I sang, I acted. I did a scene from Noel Coward. Oh, I bet that was great. They didn't realize I was unique. May is too unique. Those acting schools don't always like uniques, you know? But I bear no grudges. When I open in the show that's written for me, I'll invite them to the party afterwards, too. They mean well, those people. They just don't always recognize talent. You gonna invite me to your opening, kid? Sure, Maureen. Hey, I'll get the composer and the writer to write you in. <laughs> I, I can't make any promises, but I think the star can usually get away with things like that. Thanks, kid. Don't mention it. I'm touched. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Being generous is, is all part of having a gift. What's that? Something in the road. You can't be too careful. Hey, you guys okay? Sure. Hey, guess what? Vernon promised me a part in her hit show. Hey, you can all be in it. I promise.
boys, what's up? Nothing, ma'am. Was you really at the store club? I will be. But was you? I will be. Dummy, she's modest. You boys have to come to my opening on Broadway. You promise? I yeah, promise. Yeah. We'll be there. Because I plan to be a great big star, nobody bigger, in a musical by Rodgers and Hammerstein or Irving Berlin. It'll probably be called something like Verna by Degree, showing me in, you know, different costumes and different seasons. Aw, uh, you'll forget all about us. Oh, no, I won't. I'll always remember this. You boys have given me my career. You made my life. Can I, uh... He wants, you know. Uh, hey. Sure, honey. Don't you mean no fraternization is against the rules? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, where are they going? Well, I sort of told them to, uh... You mean them... Them and me, that's fra... fra fraternization. Yes, ma'am. I'm off limits? Well, I, uh, I thought they might be bothering you, you know? I'm just doing my duty, soldier. Well, I didn't want them bothering you. Being available to my fans, that's part of it. I'm sorry. Being a star. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Verna, you're on. Oh, I was going to go over my steps, and now I want to fumble. But if you I'm coming out need anything, my... Yes? Hruben, Walter Hruben, that is my name. If I can be of, well, you know, help you out. In that fraternization. This heart of mine embraces all day through. In that small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut trees. Oh, wishing well. Oh. Dignities, one must suffer. Miss Fink, Miss Fink, I'd be uh, glad to, well, show you around. No, thank you. Now, who was that? Just some captain. Well, that's what I call a gorgeous hunk of man. A what? A hunk, honey. A hunk. Hooban, remember? Hey, what is it? I don't want to tell you what I went through the first five months I was here. I could never get used to it. I used to think to myself, tomorrow I won't notice anymore when they come. Tomorrow I won't jump sky high every time there's an explosion. Tomorrow took a long time coming. Even now, I've been in the army for three years. Even now, I get the shakes sometimes. Just get the shakes. Not during the battles or when I'm supposed to, but afterwards, when everybody else is calm. And I get the shakes. You're good, you know. Real gifted. Yeah. I've seen you sing three times now. I loved it every time. I was just thinking while you were talking. I felt that way, too. Got the shakes. But not during auditions or on stage, but at real odd times. Like, trying to fall asleep at night, you know? Or trying to learn a new routine. Suddenly, I just get really scared. I don't know why. I shouldn't be scared. 
but I am. I'm glad you like my singing. And dancing? Oh, everything. You know the stars? Oh, just a few of them. I had an uncle who taught me that I could always find myself if I knew where the North Star was. In New York, where I made my career? New York City? Yeah. Wow. You can't see the stars for all the tall buildings. So they make do with other stars, like you. <laughs> you think they shine? Brighter than any star up there. Sweet. I wanted to meet you from the first. <laughs> Lucky I ran into you and said some German thing. <laughs> Tomorrow we could go for a walk. Maybe have some dinner. It wouldn't be fancy like in New York City restaurants. I'd love to. Are you scared of women drivers? <laughs> you tell me about the stars. The real ones up there. <laughs> I'd rather just be quiet with you. Here. Quiet? Yeah. That's unusual. Unusual? I can't believe this. Sitting here holding hands with a star from New York City. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get them? Good morning. Good morning. Captain, I thought there was to be no fraternization. There wasn't any fraternization. I'm sorry, Mr. Stinson. Gosh, I hadn't slept that good in months. I was just counting stars. And then you're here, Eddie. Yeah, that's how we met. Is that so? Well, I guess I'm a little crazy, and I was running down the road, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's holding me. Yeah, it's terrible the way they come in. And out of the blue like that. Yes, isn't it? Soldier. Yeah? Hungry? Yes, sir, I am. Very. Rehearsal in half an hour. What the hell? Uh-huh, Captain. 
I've seen you. <laughs> I've seen you. Only the distance, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Pete, Maureen? Well, he's in bed where he always is in the morning. Well, um, I'll leave you all to warm up and have some breakfast. Bye. Tonight, huh? You bet you. Look at him. Tell a lot about a man by looking at his back. It's the one and only thing my mother told me. You don't look at a man's eyes. You don't look at his hair, his mouth, his chest, his legs. You look at his back. You can tell everything there is to know about it. I could look at that captain's back for a long time. Sing flat and dance clumsy. She's a creative genius. You ready? Uh -huh. Okay. Good kid. I know it's for Walter. Uh -huh. Well, let's hope he's toned in. Maureen! Our own beauty! Maureen! Makes me feel warm, but he makes me feel cold. He makes me feel warm, cold. You don't want a man, you want a janitor. <laughs> Eddie, I heard about your lovemaking. Oh, that's nothing. I know, that's what I heard. <laughs> Take it, Marie! <laughs> it's not the pain that excites me. That thrills and delights me. Oh no, it's just the nearness of you. It isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation. Oh no, it's just the nearness of you. I'm in your arms And I feel you so close to me All oh, my wildest dreams come true I only have a minute. They're building a bridge I have to supervise. Okay, look. Tonight at 7 sharp, right? I'll come back for you. Okay?
Look, I don't mean to be personal, but there are a couple... A couple a... Wow, somebody there's got good breath control. Okay, okay, we got a finale to play. Jeez. We're not at the movies. like to have some wine? Can't. Why? It's bad for the voice. Oh, sorry. Well, that's all right. It's part of having a gift, protecting it. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Oh, I'll take a sip now and then, but drinking's bad for just about everything, and smoking's bad for the breath, and it makes your voice husky. And when you're an all-around like me, you got to protect everything. My legs and feet because I dance, and my voice because I sing. And I might even want to act someday. Act. Oh, I, I don't mean anything heavy. I'd be afraid of... What's his name? You know, that big classic? Or some of those others, but I... I can see myself in Noel Coward or Kaufman Hart. I can be breezy and elegant. It comes natural to me. I don't know how, but I grew up with this. Lucky I can eat with knives and forks and spoons. Oh, God. I love you, Verna. I love you. <laughs> Boy, what I grew up with. A bunch of animals. You ever been in a foster home? No, I mean, what? I really do. What? Love you. Well, foster homes are rotten. You promise to raise any kids, you father? Promise. I hope you have something to say about that. Well, I mean, they didn't beat me or anything like that. Like in those English author's books, you know, with twist in the title, is it? Olive Twist? Oliver, Oliver Twist? No, I think it's Olive Twist. I mean, it wasn't like that. It was just real grubby and nobody to hold on to. That was the worst part. You reach out and there's nobody there. I think that's why I became a performer. You're not lonely when they're ever... Everybody's out there screaming and hollering at you, accepting you. Oh, maybe you wouldn't understand. Oh, baby, I understand. I know how important it is to you. It's not important. It's everything. Yeah, but there can be other things. Not if you're dedicated. <laughs> and a born star. But uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you a happy kid? That was usual, you know, that's all. That was dreamy, they said. <laughs> they kind of frowned on that. But no, I was just like everybody else. They were all like you? <laughs> Sounds like heaven. <laughs> farm boy? Big farm. Lots of workers on it, but we were pretty city five. We had two movie theaters in town, and... A nightclub that was open in October and November, and then again in February and March. <laughs> and the circus came through every other year. <laughs> <laughs> and there were touring acts sometimes. Acts? What kind? All, all kinds. Plays sometimes, vaudeville acts, you know. I snuck in once. You snuck in? <laughs> yeah, my folks didn't like the idea of my going. Oh, they're that kind. They love you like I do. They're decent. You're decent. They'd recognize that. <laughs> decent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but your career, why is it so important? I, mean, I guess I know, but... 
So I'm just born to it. Seems like I, I want everything that goes with it. The clothes, friends among the great, fame, working with great composers and producers and directors. You know, you know, the, the funerals stars have, like Valentino. The funerals? Oh, at the end of it all, that's what I want. I want them all to come, all the great people, and they'll cry, and the simple people, they'll be there too. I'll be missed by thousands and thousands, maybe millions of people. They'll all want me back. They won't be glad I'm gone, which is what I've always known. They won't be relieved. It'll be a long march. Carriages, and flowers, and all these famous people, and there'll be a moving funeral oration, and there'll be on all the papers and all the newsreels. <laughs> That's pretty morbid. Oh, you don't understand. It's not morbid at all. It's not sad at all. It's beautiful. It's what art can do for you, make you immortal. It's like living forever. It's more than just living forever. It's being thought of, remembered, respected. Long after this life. But uh, I want to love, think of, remember, and respect you during your life. I don't know. But it's not the same. But. <laughs> you still understand. You still understand. I don't hold it against you. <laughs> People always had a hard time understanding me. They thought I was crazy. But I have to believe in myself. Nobody else ever did, and I, I do believe in myself. I can't be some silly little bum or some frowsy housewife. I'm firm. I'm unique. I've got to be. I've just got to be. I'm sorry, baby. See, I want to spend my life like this, holding you, just holding you. I love you so much. I feel it everywhere in my body. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk like that, this doesn't come easy to me. I, I haven't had much in, in this life, so I know when there's something I want, when there's something I need, I need you, Verna. Will you marry me? It doesn't make any sense. You can go on the stage. I won't stand in your way. Plenty of actresses marry. But then last, they all divorce. I wouldn't want to di divorce. I wouldn't want to divorce you ever. No, Walter. It just won't mix. What do you think of as marriage in a career? Oh, we'd be fools if we thought so. And I couldn't stand to see you as unhappy as you'd be when my career took off. I just don't understand. <laughs> No, I guess you don't. But it's gotta be. Think of that kind of life. In the columns. Always at parties, rehearsing all day, performing all night. Working on publicity, touring in the summer, making movies, always on the movies. No what kind of life for a wife. You'd start to go crazy, I know. I've seen it happen. And it'd be that much harder because we loved each other. Let's not talk about it anymore, Walter. I won't change my mind. Come on. Just in case. Okay. But you remember that I love you. And you always remember that I love you.
outside the picnic. Yes, sir. Over here's a nice place. Nice weather we're having. I'll be cold pretty soon. Hi, Verna. Hey, Verna. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> There's a chill kind of creeps up on you. I don't see it. You know, this food ain't bad. It's awful, and you know it. Yeah. It's like my mom's cooking. Oh, come on. Eddie. What do you think I ran the show business for? To get away from my mom's cooking. <laughs> You're happy with this guy, huh? He even looked better. Not so pale, not so skinny. You don't think I'm running my figure, do you? No, 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 you look great. You want to marry him? No. Why? Don't say it. On account of your career. That's a good reason. Look, Verna. No, not Verna. Mary. Take this guy. Take him. He'll marry you here, and then you can go back to the States and wait for him. This won't last forever. He's a... He's a survivor, all right? Why are you saying this? You know I have my career to think about. So what? You can marry him and still have your career. So what? Eddie, you know it doesn't work that way. Not if you're serious. Not if you're special. You're not special, Verna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Verna. You don't have it. You just don't. You're not even second rate. How do you know? Because I'm second rate. I'm unique. You're not unique. You're not special. Look, when we start out, we all think that we're special. But there comes that day when you look in the mirror and you see that there are a hundred other people who would go on for you. And nobody would see the difference. I know. I've been there. Come on. Take this guy. Take him. I think we're not going to run away from him. Forget it, Eddie. You're just trying to make up for the daughter you never had. I know what I was born for. And that's that. You're gonna just walk away from We leave tomorrow. I know. I'm sitting in tonight for goodbyes. And I already told him. He knows. Then you're right about him. He's a survivor. He'll get over me. Oh, yeah, he's a survivor, all right. How about you, Vernon? Me? I can get through anything. Say it, Walter. Don't make it worse. It's bad enough. I don't mean that. I don't 
don't mean to sound silly, but God damn it! Don't you understand? I need you. You need me. Please, Vernon. Okay. If you ever need me for anything, remember, I'll be here. For anything at all. I'll remember. For now, let me give you my folks' address. We can keep in touch, maybe after the war. stupid. I wonder, I wonder if you'd leave me with something. Would you? Would you, I mean... Just do a little bit of your act for me. Since you went away, I live from day to day and dream about tomorrow, tomorrow with you. Since you said goodbye, the hours at once would fly, go creeping by my pillow. And night is never through. But if tomorrow should be sad, or never come at all, those precious thrilling days that we had will still be mine to recall. Since you went away, I live from day to day and dream about tomorrow. Tomorrow with you.
I said, hey, kid, what were you in civilian life? He says, happy. Yeah. I was drafted. I like the Army. I mean, where else can you fall in bed and sleep until 4 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Do you ever think that tapping might get on somebody's nerves? I'm sorry, Maureen. I'll go farther away from you, but I want to be near the stage when they call us. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Just as weather's got on my nerves. Not sleeping and the guns. I don't know how you keep at it. Well, that's my career. What about that guy in Vows, the captain? What about him? He asked you to marry him, didn't he? <laughs> yep. Well? Well, I can't marry him, Mari, on account of my career. Oh, God. I just don't think anybody in our profession ought to get married. Not when you're going to be a star. Oh, Maureen, I'm crazy about him, but I'm not going to let anything interfere with my career. Oh, you sap. Letting that chance go by. He wasn't a bum or a lech. He was a sweet kid that would kill for you. You throw him over for what? For some other guy? For some money? No. Your rotten, lousy career. You don't even have one. Maureen! I'm telling you straight, kid. Run. Run back there. Go ahead this second. Grab that guy. Somebody's given you the greatest gift in the world and you don't even know it. Run! No way. No way. You don't get it, do you? No. You don't understand. <gasps> Is there a brain in that head of yours? Is there any sense in you? You don't have a profession. You don't have a career. You don't got nothing in this whole big rotten world. Least of all your talent. You're a doll, but you can't sing, you can't dance, and you can't even move across the stage. You have a heart as big as the moon. But we took you on this tour because we had no other choice. We were leaving the next day, and there wasn't another soul to bring with us. This is it. You understand that? You'll never do better, and you'll never do as good. So run back there and grab that guy and make some for yourself. 
Do it for his sake. And do it for your own. You're just jealous, Maureen. So far, without any opposition, at least none that I have been able to see. Our fighters are down just almost nosing along the hedgerows, searching the little villages, and they're up above us and on both sides. This is the real meaning of air power. There go the parapax. Formation ahead of us. Yeah, you ready, oh, Lieutenant? Brown, red, Could be happier. Down. All right, everybody, get in the jeeps. Hey, everybody. What is it the GI say? The Hurry up. Men. Stand the still. What's the problem? Is it this counterattack? Panzer divisions. We weren't expecting them. And all of us? We're all in the middle of it. We're going to try and get everybody out. I ain't promising anything. You serious? I'm sorry. We're taking a road. Things open. It's the best we can do. What will the Germans do with us? Kill us? Lots of things will kill you in the war, already. Mines, guns, tanks, Germans. They're all out there. Come on, we better shovel off. Oh, finally. Hope you're arranging for better food and less noise. I'm arranging for the New York Philharmonic to accompany you the next time you sing. Some Christmas, huh? Yeah. Today or tomorrow? I thought it was yesterday. Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. How are you, girls? Hungry, cold, tired, and scared. Not necessarily in that order. Is it really Christmas? Sure. See all the tinsel? Presents. That is, you talking to the sergeant? Lieutenant. Well, whatever he is. They gonna bury us here? I don't know what their plans for us are. They got a war to fight. The Germans kill US old people. Hey, Maureen. I'm worried about that. 
I mean, you think they'll really think we're performers? They're all so lousy. They probably think we're spies. <laughs> Imagine being shot singing flat. They're telling jokes. My jokes? They think they were sensational. <laughs> but just sensational performers. <laughs> I think they shoot us anyway. You first. Seriously, what do you think they'll do with us? I don't know. Prisoner camp, maybe. Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. Come on. Where's your Christmas cheer? You're here for morale, remember? Look, cheer up. Things aren't so bad. Hell, we've pushed them back three houses. Crowds ain't got us yet. How about you put on a show for the guys this afternoon? I can't say they'd appreciate it with the kind of shows you've been putting on. But what the hell? Hey, wait a second. Come on, come on. These guys need what you show people have got. Some energy, some spirit. I know it's rough. Count me out, brother. OK, OK. I'm not going to pressure you. What do you say you put it to a vote? Whatever you say goes. All right, we'll take a vote and stick by it. I say yes. Didn't guarantee it would be safe or easy for us. Anyway, I'm used to playing under fire. I played the cat's clothes. Great, Eddie. Love to see you without a head. Make your jokes better. You crazy? Look, I know why we're here just the same as you. I vote no. So do I. Well... Sammy, you just said count you out. Oh, Marine, look around at these guys. We're still in one piece. We aren't in any pain. We haven't been fighting. Break my heart. I'm with Eddie. I vote yes. It's two to two. Verna? Can you leave Verna out of this? No, let Verna speak. Verna? The lieutenant wants us to put a show on this afternoon, and we're taking a vote on it. What about you, kid? How about a little bit of that, that old song and dance room, huh? Can I tell you, have we got a show tonight? Have we got a show tonight? Hey, have we got a show tonight? <laughs> Wise guys. <laughs> hey, fellas, did you hear about the karate expert who was drafted? First time he saluted, he knocked his brains out. <laughs> Christmas, fellas. It's Christmas. Typical American Christmas. The tree comes from Arkham. <laughs> The ornaments come from Aachen. <laughs> the lights come from Aachen. <laughs> but the idea still comes from Bethlehem. Anyway, here she is, our star tonight, straight from her sensational performance at the Star Club in New York, Miss Verna Vane! <laughs>
was all aglow. And heaven was in your eyes. The night that you told me those little white lies. The moon was all, the moon was all aglow. And heaven was in your eyes. The night that you told me those little white lies. The stars all seem to know that you didn't mean all those sighs. The night that you told me those little white lies. I try, but there's no forgetting when evening appears. I sigh, but there's no regretting in spite of my tears. The devil was in your heart, but heaven was in your eyes. The night that you told me those little white lies. You know, of course, that Paris is the fashion capital of the world. Hey, look, Paris, 104 kilometers. You know, I read today that romance is a real low ebb in Hollywood. I wonder why. War does that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll... I guess I'll see the Apple Tower first, and then I'll then I'll look for some shoes. <gasps> Don't worry, kid. It's just a column of Sherman's coming up. We better get the hell off the road so they can get by. German spring mine. Somebody look after the kid.
about this USO girl, Verna Vane, was killed by a mine near Mons? Who was she? Sir, she was one. First girl from a camp show killed in combat. It was a mine, wasn't it? Yes, sir. It says here there's no next of kin. Poor kid must be an orphan. Want to have a bang up military funeral? Yes, sir. Who's the guy in charge of Notre Dame Cathedral? Get him on the phone. Yes, sir. See that a piece gets into Stars and Stripes. Yes. Sir. Put in a call to the ranking chaplain. Yes, sir. Find out about getting a guard of honor. Yes, sir. Boom. We're in business. The rest of that day, considerable red tape was snipped. And a feast appeared in Stars and Stripes the next morning to the effect that the general would attend funeral services in Notre Dame on Sunday for Verna Vane, American girl killed in action. The colonel moved fast, but thereafter events over which he had no control began to move even faster. The colonel began to sweat. He'd only been trying to organize a good story for back home. Now it was too late to back out. The presence of the American general made it imperative that Allied representatives be invited if solidarity was to be preserved. The colonel did a rush job on invitations. Things worked out better than might have been expected. And on a cold and cloudy January afternoon in Paris, Verna Vane arrived on a gun case on for her first and last world premiere. None of the glittering foreign dignitaries had the slightest idea who Verna Vane was, or cared. But the Doughboys knew. They had seen her at Rennes and Le Mans and Nancy, outside of Metz and north of Luxembourg, in Brussels and Liège and Maastricht, in shattered Aachen and besieged Bestone. And they remembered the thin girl in the little pants and the thingamajig across her chest, who couldn't sing or dance a hell of a lot, but who had stood there smiling wistfully at them. They remembered how she had reminded them all of those sweet kids back home. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places That this heart of man embraces all day through In that small cafe, the park across the way The children's carousel the chestnut trees I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day in everything that's light and gay I'll always think of you that way I'll find you in the morning sun and when the night is I've been looking at the moon, the moon, but I'll be seeing you.
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.